Something to show you. There it is. A Grant's tractor. Grant's was a department store back in the day. And they sold tractors. Kind of like a Sears store, but a little bit smaller. Um, and I got this from the original owner. He even had the uh, owner's manual with a date written in it, 1967, uh, when they bought it. I uh, took the carburetor off already. Um, I should be able to get this Briggs & Stratton 6 horsepower engine running. I mean, it pulls over. Sounds good. Sounds like it's uh, just need. It doesn't have any spark. I checked the spark. And the carburetor, I took it apart already. It's in the gunk tank. Um, it is probably going to be easy to rebuild. It's really not that bad. I've seen worse. Um, yeah, this little tractor is pretty cool. It has this um, crank mechanism in the back. You loosen the four bolts for the deck and you crank this and you can crank the deck up and down. Um, and it has uh, like the old old style setup with the belt and then the three speed transmission and the chain drive in the back. Um, I used to have one like an eight horse uh, model similar to this and uh, I remember doing being able to do wheelies with it. So they were set up pretty neat. Neat little tractor. They cut grass pretty good too. <clears throat> Gonna have to clean the gas tank out too because it is pretty cruddy. Pretty cruddy in there. I don't know if you can see it, but definitely pretty cruddy. It has a fiberglass hood and the nose is fiberglass. This uh, was built by E.T. Rug Company. Uh, I'm pretty sure the one that I had was built by Bradford. But they were similar tractors. They had the fiberglass hood and everything. It has a little dash panel. I have another one I'll show you uh, some other time that it's pretty close to being restored. and. Uh, that one's electric start, seven horse. It's got um, <clears throat> it's got a cigarette lighter in it. It's got the white steering wheel like this does. Um, they made them pretty fancy, uh, the bigger ones. But this is not quite a mini tractor. If you look at it; it's a little bit bigger than a than a real mini mini with the like the huffies and stuff. But uh, Made a pretty nice tractor. It's a lot of fiberglass on these. The, the rear fenders are fiberglass too. It's uh, in pretty decent shape. There's a spot over here on the hood where it's like got a little bite out of it. Have to fix that. But this thing should paint up nice. Figured I'd put a video out on YouTube because there's not many videos on these type of tractors. Uh, it's nice to see one maybe before and after kind of thing, and uh, you know, for people that are interested in these, so something a little different than your average uh, craftsman that you see all the time. Or a Sears tractor. I got a few of those myself, but these things are pretty cool. So that's the first look at the Grant ET Rug tractor. And um, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, please. And uh, I'll see you on the next video after I've done some work to it. Have a great day.